hello everybody welcome to my channel before starting my video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do and do not forget to turn on notifications as i'm sharing everyday great contents for you all right guys let's have a look our powerpoint presentation this lesson will be about model v models and explanations all right let's minimize it let's continue with the models but before that i'm going to delete what we have inside delete i'm going to delete all of them and i'm going to create my own files all right if you remember our previous lesson we learned ms sql so what we what we had ms sql we have we had tables right so in the c sharp our models and we call them entity our entities um we can say the reflection of the our ms sql tables we're going to create our models in c sharp then we're going to use entity framework core to implement those classes those tables to the MS SQL. But before that, let's create our models. How we can create our tables, models, I mean entities, you can call um, all of them, they all same meanings. Okay, let's add folder and entity entities. All right. Okay, I'm going to create a new class now, which is let's say product and i'm going to create another one category all right let's have a look quickly everything is perfect okay let's create our product product is represents our tables and properties represent our columns so let's create an id column let's say product title or product name let's say product i'm gonna give bool it returns in returns we're going to give true or false which is telling us the talk status it's in stock or out of stock basically prop let's say int for stock level i'm not gonna make it long you can add as much as you can for uh, creating a product let's continue with the category prop integer id prop string let's say name for the category name all right so we have two entities you can add um, data annotation to define some um, constraint or filter to your properties but if you remember our pr previous lesson according to your solid principles of single responsibility these classes are only for creating tables for MS SQL. So these are our entities. Do not add anything else. You shouldn't add. That's why we have V models. So we in MVC project we say V models. In API project we say DTO. Both of them are same. Just the ex expression is different. Okay. I'm going to create a new folder here. Let's say v models we are using v models um, adding extra information for our um, properties but the, this is not the main re uh, reason why we're creating v models once you call this category or product table to your v ecran to v view screen and there is you will able to see obviously products 
one, two, three, four, five, ten, hundred. How many? Um, how much? You, how many product you have? You will be. You will be able. To, you will able to see all of them on your screen. But as you can see, we have a lot of information here. It it can be about ten, fifteen, and you know, a different. Um, for example, product. So we shouldn't reflect all information to last user only we need to uh, send them the re relevant information for example we have stock level and stock stasis maybe we don't want our customers not to know our stock level only stock status will be okay for them right so we, we're not gonna send it stock level or ID we don't need to send the ID as well because the ID for example it, uh, can be a long string letters so we don't need to send ID as well to do that we are going to add a new class all right let's say product list because we're going to use it for listing product list view model and I'm going to these two because I only need these two. And now this is our view model. Only thing we need to do is when it comes to the controller, when it comes to the action method to manipulate this data, we're going to map product list view model to the product. And we're going to get just relevant information for our user all right this is v models once we create a project you will better understand what they are all right now let's continue um let's continue with the let me have a look how many minutes have been done it's seven minutes um actually we need i'm gonna finish this lesson here and I'm going to con continue with the controllers and I'm going to explain the controllers and action methods and I'm going to create a couple of fake data to show you how they are working and I'm going to show you how we can map these um, informations between the view model and the entities and then we're going to continue with the weaves. Alright guys, take care of yourself, see you on the next lesson, bye bye. Thank you.